A lot of people ask about what kind of food do you eat on the Appalachian Trail, so this video is all about that. Hi everybody, my name is Julianne, also known as Roadrunner, and in 2022 I threw hike the entire Appalachian Trail, and tomorrow I'm heading out on a shakedown hike with another future through hiker. So this is a gentleman who's planning to through hike the Appalachian Trail next year in 2024, and he's asked me to attend a shakedown hike with him. If you do or do not know, I decided to offer shakedown hike services where instead of just shaking down somebody's gear, I'm actually hiking with them. And so that's what I'm doing. And today I kind of want to talk about the food because I never really talked about the food when I was on the Appalachian Trail and just kind of giving some ideas. There are so many different things that you can, can, can do on the trail, but for this trail, I'll show you what I decided to take with me. One of the biggest concerns for this particular future through hiker is the actual resupply. This is the biggest reason why he's asked me to come along on his shakedown hike. And uh, we are going to go on a five day, four night hike, but we did plan to kind of reenact an actual real resupply. So we could just bring, you know, enough food to hike the entire five days, but we on purpose will only bring about three days worth of food so that we must go into town to do a actual resupply. I have asked him if he is okay if I film, so if he's gonna be still okay, I'll kind of like take you along if you're interested. So without further ado, let's get to the food. So this is like an awesome angle just for you because I kind of wanted to show like the foods that I have. Um, if you know me, you know Uncrustables are literally the best breakfast. So normally you take these, you put them in a toaster and then they're so delicious. But when you're on a through hike, you do not really have a toaster. So you get the Uncrustables and they last about three days and they're pretty tasty. After about three days, they get kind of like soggy, crumbly, and they're just not good anymore. I mean, you probably could still eat it, but they're just not as delicious. Now, I, I am going to resupply for three days. I typically like more than just one Uncrustable in the morning, so I'm gonna take six of these with me. That's gonna be my breakfast. Now, some of you have asked about milk tea, and this is the milk tea. So, it's pretty much you just get a, go on Amazon, it's the Royal Milk Tea, and I like that these come in individual packs, and so all I have to do is heat up some water and then put the whole pack in there, and it's kind of like a super nice treat. So instead of coffee, I do Royal Milk Tea, neither here or there, I would, I would love to take some coffee, but I just have, this is like such a memory of mine from the trail that I've decided to stick with this. With regard to snacks, I decided to try out these Outback barbecue, gluten-free. I mean, I am going to eat gluten on this trail um, just because it's kind of almost like impossible not to, especially if I do the Encrustables, right? Ah, mercy. But I, thought, I wanted to check these out and see if they're, I mean like potato chips generally should be gluten-free or because it's potato, but um, these are actually not gluten-free. Uh, these are actually gluten-free. And with regard to like um, lunch, a lot of times I do like some sort of meat. I do get this salami and then I also might take this kibasa. That's really heavy stuff, but it's only three days and it's like, it's not like a through hike. So I don't mind carrying some heavier food. And that's that, and that's, that'll be with lunch. A lot of times I'll eat that with some tortillas, gluten-free. I try to be gluten-free, I mean, I'm not, but I try to eat a little bit less of that. And then with regard to some other snacks, I'll take like the, like a Kit Kat, Kit Kat is one of my favorites, and Twix is my other favorite. So these are generally the treats that I have. I also decided to bring some cashews with me. I love cashew nuts and the two types of nuts that I like are um, pistachios, pistachios, pistachios and cashews. So here you go. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna probably put them into a separate bag because 
This is kind of bulky. Now, I may or may not know. I mean, I'm definitely, I'm definitely planning to, it seems like I'm, again, like overpacking food, but I really like this food. I just can't take it with me because it has liquid inside. And last time I went on a on the um, Tahoe Rim Trail through hike, they took this food. I would love to take this, but because it has liquid in there, can't take it. I am also bringing just one oh, single packs of Spam. They're pretty tasty when they're in single pack. I don't know what it is, but when I do the whole big can of Spam, I can't eat that. For some reason, it makes me want to regurgitate. But when they're in these like thin slices, I can definitely eat them and they're super tasty. Another thing that I do with regard to snacks or energy, I bring these pot potato, uh, peanut butter packets. I generally like the squeeze ones better because of room, um, but the store that I went to didn't have that. And then one thing that I want to try out is this hash brown potatoes. I found this and it just says add water to it, so... I want to try it out. And then for dinner, I have one freeze-dried meal. That's pad thai, of course. And then I am going to make my own um, little concoction that I've done before. And it just involves taking some white rice. Normally, I get the bigger packet. Um, I'll take this rice out. Actually, let me show you. So I will just take the rice out just because it's super bulky. And... It's minute rice, meaning that it hydrates a lot faster than any other sort of rice. So I put that in there and then I separate it a little bit so that I can carry it with me. I also bought these refried beans on Amazon and it's delicious, honestly. And I kind of just go by eye just because I like a little bit more of this than less, right? So I have the refried beans and the rice. And then I either put like this kind of vegetable mix in or like some onion mushroom soup. That gives a really great taste. And I guess it just adds some vegetables, which is really nice. So I just take it. I already used the first half of it. And I'm just gonna do the second half. I'm usually not too stingy with kind of putting everything in there. And then I have that. Look, there's some rice left. Ooh, interesting. This one is already moist, which when you buy them in like the packs, like the carton pack, car carton, carton, carton packs, they're not really that, um, they're not moist. So, and then I just, and this also works really good for, um, like cold soaking actually, which I've done before. And this is a pretty good meal. Once you put water in this, this is pretty tasty. It's simple. It's cheaper than buying a, um, you know, dehydrated meal. So, yeah. That is pretty much it. I know it's kind of fast, but that's really all I generally take with me. There are so many other options with regard to food, but this is what I'm bringing with me for this through hike, well, it's not a through hike, for this section hike, for this shakedown hike. So follow along if you're interested to kind of watch how that's gonna go. See you next time.